Honeywell has a new AR and VR simulator that's being used to train the industrial workforce and help close the skills gap. I'm talking to Yusuf Mastari about this new headset. Yusuf, how does the new cloud-based simulation tool combine AR and VR for training employees? So uh, the way it works is uh, uh, we are creating um, an immersive environment that replicates a real situation, real events, and we train our um, customers, whether our field operator or maintenance operator, on those events through an immersive experience. This is, um, um, this is a learning by doing, as opposed to passive learning methods, such as uh, classroom-based training or uh, learning by listening. It has a higher retention rate of knowledge retention rate after three months. That's eight, 70 to 80% knowledge retention after three months as compared to uh, a traditional passive learning methods. How does the tool work? So first of all, we define a library of scenarios uh, around specific assets or specific activity, such as field, field inspection or, or uh, uh, operator routines. And once we define that, we 3D model, whether it's a section of the plant for the field operations or field inspections, or whether it's a specific asset, we 3D model that and we inject that model into our platform and software base that is Honeywell Property IP. Now, once we have that, every operator can go uh, and pull that training anytime from anywhere. Uh, so he can pull that, uh, connect to that uh, platform. He can select what type of training, what, what type of modules he wants to go through. And then he has different, uh, uh, he has different ways to learn. So the first step to learn is a show me mode, where he sees the procedures, how it unfolds, and uh, what are the steps, uh, what are the step one versus step two. And then you have a, a try me mode, where it's sort of uh, uh, an assessment mode which is basically, I got the steps, I'm gonna do it by myself, and you're gonna basically assess me whether I'm doing it right or not. And in between, we also created an, uh, a help me mode where I do the job, I go through the, uh, the, the, the simulation and the training, and, and I have from time to time a guidance. This is the next step you need to do. So we've created a multiple level of difficulties of the learning in that same environment. So the same scenario can be played with multiple layers of difficulty similar to a, a game this is truly a gamification of learning and learning through play which is a perfect fit for the millennials okay that's interesting does it use microsoft hololens absolutely yes we leverage hololens uh, and why we like that one is uh, um, this solution hololens is uh, is augmented reality so it keeps you connected to the real world uh, and and that's have a benefit it doesn't create dizziness where your brain connect and the balance of your brain connects on the virtual world to keep your feet grounded and therefore uh, it doesn't create that dizziness after 20 minutes of learning. Uh, second, it, as it keeps you connected to the real world, it creates situation or environment awareness. So you don't, you don't go or you, you don't um, go through or, or hit a, a chair that was behind you that you forgot uh, when, you we when you're wearing a virtual headset or a table next to you. So it's safer and, uh, and also uh, a better, better learning experience. Is this the future of work? The, the industry, specifically manufacturing and oil and gas industry is facing um, a, a mega trend that is impacting, uh, that, 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 that is here to stay for the next five, six years. And this mega trend is about retiring workforce. Uh, 50 to 55% of this workforce will retire in the next five years. That's half of the workforce in the oil and gas industry. And the millennials are here to backfill this position. And therefore, uh, this shifting of workforce and, and uh, the augmented reality is the best way to capture the knowledge from retiring workforce, capture that expertise, those steps, step by step, and give it back to the uh, uh, new generation, the millennials, the way the new generation wants to consume that knowledge. They don't want, we, we've seen a very little adherence and, and, and lower tenure of millennials when they go through trainings, 
uh, that are classroom based, where they walk away with 600 slides deck, where they have to sit in a classroom for six days. They want to learn in the moment, in the field. They want to learn it through new technologies. They want to learn it. They want to learn like they are playing. They used to play through uh, video games. So, so this solution is the perfect fit. And therefore, it is here to stay and it is here to replace traditional way as more millennials come into the marketplace. I have one last question. How can this help close the skills gap? So it is, uh, it is part of a holistic solution. Skills Insight uh, uh, as a whole has a purpose to, first of all, we assess uh, um, the competency and the competency gap at individual level. And, and based on those competency gaps for every individual, we define what's the learning program, what's the, the competency program that every individual will go through. And it's truly customized and individual. So we don't need to train everyone on everything. We only train each one on the specific gaps he has. And this is how we design what are the modules he needs to go through, whether it's e-learning, whether it's augmented reality training simulator. And then it loops back, it takes that, uh, the results, how fast did he execute the procedure, how quality compliant did he do, to whether certify him that he's able to do those, this job in a real plant environment, and when the plant is online in a safe way and in efficient way, or whether he needs to go through the training until he meets the requirements to pass those certifications. So it's truly a very comprehensive solution that improves the skills of the, of the worker while ensuring a better reliability and higher performance of the overall plant.